Nick. Give him your wallet. What for? He's got a knife. <laughs> a knife? That's a knife. <laughs> Hi, welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence. Today we're gonna take a look at the G.I. Joe Classified Tiger Force Target Exclusive Rakondo? Yeah, it's Rakondo. Never, ever did I think that I would be reviewing and having Rakondo in hand before I have Bazooka when there was reports of Bazooka in Arizona. And I figured he'd be out because Rakondo hadn't even shown up, nor has a, uh, the Python Cobra officer, but he has. And, well, I got him in hand in Michigan. But there is rumors that he is in Michigan, but he's not in my house, so we're not, gonna be, we're not going to review him today. We will take a look at him. We'll compare him to the O-Ring original one. I don't have a Tiger Force. I don't even know if there was a Tiger Force Rakondo, but we're going to look at the original. So anyway, before we get started, you know the deal. Take a second. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, because there's more G.I. Joe's coming, and you want to be notified when I drop a video. So anyway, let's quickly take a look at this, and then we will compare them to my original Rakondo, and we'll see just how much he looks like him. And what I mean by that is obviously the color is going to be different, but we'll see how the design aesthetic is, how close it is. And I have a feeling it's going to be pretty close. So anyway, we're... At the end of the windowed packages, I'm seeing we're going to be all windowless and just have artwork again. It doesn't bother me as much as long as no one is stealing the stuff and the quality control is good, but I'm kind of worried about that. Um, because I open my figures because they don't like being behind plastic. I mean, we all saw Toy Story 2, right? Stinky Pete, he doesn't like being behind plastic, so take your damn toys out. Anyway, here he is. I think the artwork looks pretty good, uh, better than a lot of the stuff. I like the design. We're going to look at him, see how he looks. It's hard to see with all the plastic and exactly how the face sculpt is going to be. You know, he's got this nice mustache, but I wonder if his face sculpt is going to be that good. It's going to be hard to compare anything because that Outback is just so damn good. And here's on the side, you see this wonderful mustache, and then you have... I, I believe that's like the tiger fly. I don't know what it is. I never didn't have them growing up. But I love how it's in the sunset and everything. And here's the back in there. In the in the tiger forest and the pipe. They're in the, the wild. I don't know if this is supposed to be part of Viper Island or Viper Island. Is that what it was? No, Cobra Island. Viper Island. I'm not getting into Viper Island. Cobra Island. The other Target exclusive. I'm all over the place, but you know what? I'm gonna go with this because I think you guys want to see it anyway. Here it is, the number number 55 in the line. We got 55 figures already. A lot more coming. Here's the wonderful file card. <laughs> it's a wonderful. I don't mean wonderful. It's awful. Anyway, I'm tired of looking at this guy in the plastic. He's tired of me in the plastic. Let me out. Let me out, mate. You hear that? Like, I gotta ask him to get the hell out. Wow, this is going to be a crazy video. <laughs> Let's open him up, compare him, see if you guys want to go out and get him. All right, so we got him out. Again, this is the end of, we're at the end of this here, this wonderful plastic. And here it is in the back. You can see Tiger Force. I, I do think it looks really nice. Let's throw this thing in here because even though I am an opener, I definitely do keep the boxes. Uh, let's be honest, Hasbro, G.I. Joe, they got me by the, you know what, with these numbers. But either way, I like to keep it because who knows, maybe one day I want to sell my stuff. I doubt it. <laughs> Considering I have so much old stuff. So here we have the original O-ring. He's placed up against the back because honestly, he doesn't really stand all that well anymore. And here is Wakando. We'll just stand him up. Let's see if he stands. So... No issues. You see how fast for Kendall falls. Anyway, we're going to quickly, we're going to take a look at his design. So, there we go. He has a perfect T-pose. 
He's got pinless elbows. So there's your double. He's kind of soft, but not, I don't think in a bad way. Not yet, at least. Wrist, bicep swivel. Again, this one here. Double elbows. No problems. Bicep. The Jean-Claude Van Damme. So he has drop-down hips. Again, I think it's the easiest way to kind of get the, the drop-down hips doing that. Push them back up. He's got thigh swivels. Ooh, a nice little pop. Here we have double pinless knees. Let's see. Got to go really slow with this here. So it's kind of tight. That is definitely worrisome. Wonder if I might have to go hit him with a blow dryer, drop him in some hot water maybe. All right, so I'm not gonna keep trying to press him. We'll stop the video. Clearly, he needs to be warmed up a slight bit. Got the boot cut, no issues there. Ankle rockers and different boots than we have seen before. Give me a second, let me go warm him up really quick. Oh man, his legs look like he's been in a hell of a car accident. All right, so I hit him with the blow dryer really quick. This knee was a little tight. Again, I probably would have been able to eventually bend it, but here, let me just tell you guys, don't be Superman, don't be a hero. Sometimes these figures, they need to be heated up. It wasn't just a Valiverse, it happens from lower end priced figures like classified Hasbro figures to high end figures. Just understand that it does happen. Then he's got his ab crunch, waist swivel, and then quickly looking at his head, he looks up, down. I would not say he has a mullet. We'll look at the, the head sculpt in a second. Um, he's got some slicked back hair, that is for sure. Then he comes with a backpack. And it, I can say it kind of looks like the original right now, you know, right quickly looking. And it doesn't. Here we have his rifle. I don't know what kind of rifle it is. I, rifle it is i don't know if it is an actual rifle but it is supposed to look somewhat to his um vintage one magazine that comes out we'll take a look at it and it's actually pretty straight it's a little soft i'm not gonna have to worry about it breaking but it might end up warping a little there we have his hat i don't know what it's called so if you know it drop it in the Drop it in the comments so I will eventually know it. Here we have his very tiny sidearm. Looks like it fit on a female better than him, but he's in the wild. And then here we have a big a giant knife, which is unfortunately already kind of bent because when I tried pulling it out, I didn't realize it, that it was like the way that it was sheathed then. But that can be kind of bent back. But again, it's soft. Uh, way different than some other manufacturers they have like really really hard ones this one isn't that bad but it being a little bit stiffer that's what she said <laughs> probably be a little better um so anyway let's quickly we'll take a look at this figure and you can say he already looks pretty good for the most part all right so we're gonna get this raise this up zoom in zoom out who knows what we're gonna do just yet i don't know what we're gonna do yet so we will take the backpack off take off his weapon you always got to be careful with any of these o-ring figures especially if it's yours considering i don't have thumbs that are broken yet so i like to keep it that way so quickly we'll take a look at everything lift up his arms and starting from the boots so the boots are clearly a little different. On the O-ring, we can see they hang down over. Uh, this is different, but not, I mean, not a big deal to me. Uh, there is some camouflage, but again, this is also in the Tiger Force colors. Here, he's got a fairly large knife. And as you can see, he also has a large knife 
and here's the sheath for it. We'll put that on once we are done. We get up to the belt here. And the one thing that they definitely do is there are pockets on the original O-ring. He also has pockets that look very similar. Kind of wrapping around. Uh, it looks like he still has a compass. I believe that is an actual compass. Rather than, it kind of looks like a joke, one of those joke communicators. But I do believe that is a compass, which someone that is going to be in the wilderness would definitely need. This guy is a, is a lot like how Outback is. He's, a, he's supposed to be a survivalist. And again, on the, now on the belt, you still, they have pouches. They gave him more, and I like that. Since we're looking at the back, here's the cross strap. So they did a good job. It's supposed to come down here. They made this a little different. I don't have a problem with it, but they crossed it across the way that it does on here. Now this comes back around because this is supposed to connect into his belt. They're probably going to have a hard time doing it. But then they have the chest um, holster here for the sidearm. So you can actually see why it is going to be so small. And then quickly look in. He has the pouches on the shirt. And sure enough, you better believe he also has the pouches on that just like that. He's got the collar. And I do wonder. So he has a collar here. I think everything looks pretty similar, but what I was wondering, because I had just mentioned it, is, I can reach back here, I believe he uses the same, the same upper torso as um, Spirit, so I guess we are going to see that they are able to reuse that uh, body pretty quickly, now the difference is he has pinless arms, I guess I'll show you. For some odd reason, Spirit does not. So, I don't know the reason why Spirit doesn't have pinless, but he does. And then, we're going to look. He has his watch. And they definitely gave him a watch. A little bit of paint app. Um, I think it looks pretty nice on it. I guess you don't need a compass if you have a watch. It has everything on it, but who knows. And then we're going to look at the face sculpt here. And he had a very... Very iconic mustache. And I think they did a pretty good job matching the face sculpt, to be honest, of what you think that he would look like. He looks kind of like a rugged man. Maybe this is the one they should have done, old man. But I think the face sculpt actually looks pretty good. Paint apps look good. Eyes look good. They look like they are looking straight at you. Now, his hair was obviously always hidden. <clears throat> So they were able to do kind of something, whatever, kind of something. They were able to do whatever they wanted. Now they gave him the same color hair. So it looks like that. But it's kind of slicked over. Pulled back. It's a little bit longer in the back. I like the way this is. They gave him a little bit longer hair. But he's still able to freely move his head. So that works out pretty well. Then we'll throw his hat on. Which really, let's be honest, that sets him off there. So looking at these two hats here, and they have the exact same uh, bandana or whatever it is that runs around the uh, runs around the top there. I'm sure someone will be able to correct me. I don't know what it's called. I think this looks really good. It's pretty close. So what we can do is we can take his sidearm, throw it in there, see how it fits. Then he has this really large knife. I would probably say that is a machete. And it looks like they cut it out here because the blade is so large that we can slide it right into it like that. And it's gonna stay closed, so that looks pretty good. I'm gonna take a look at the backpacks here. And the original vintage backpack has a handle for it which they kind of did away with this but i guess looking at it it is very similar it has the uh, canteen in the same spot there it's got his sleeping blanket they just kind of got rid of the handle but everything else makes it look pretty close so i'm assuming when they redo this not redo this but repaint this figure 
it's gonna look pretty nice. So I definitely do like the way that looks. You know what? I did, you know, we didn't even look at. <laughs> I was too busy throwing this in. So here's a sidearm. Uh, no paint apps that I can see. Really small. I do like the way it looks. Um, it looks good. Again, they've done away with the laser guns. So I guess we don't need, need to worry or complain about that. His machete here. Again, it's got the silver blade. I do like the fact that they did that. Even the handle has some detail to it. And you can see where the blade kind of thins out. Again, it's not sharp. You don't have to worry about poking yourself. It is serrated on one side. So, again, looks pretty nice. It's kind of flimsy, but not bad. And then we will look at his rifle and compare it to the vintage rifle. So, it seems to me like they kind of put these suppressors in some ways on the front of some of their weapons. They did it with the uh, uh, with Duke and Stalker's gun. So as you're coming back and you're kind of looking at this, you can see that it's wrapped, which is how the vintage one was. Then you got the ammo, the ammo magazine at the bottom here. So it's wrapped the same way as uh, Outback has some wrapped on his uh, on his guns, but it looks pretty. It looks pretty close, you know, all the way up to the trigger guard and uh, the sight up here. The stock is obviously a little bit different, but very reminiscent. So when you look at these two, you can definitely tell that they are supposed to be the same weapon. But looking at this here, I do think it looks pretty nice. A little bit of paint apps. And then you have a spot for a muzzle flash. But again, I have this suppressor. Suppressors are made to hide muzzle flashes, which means... That is a useless, useless function. So, he does have a... Ooh, his hands are very... Oh, at least they're not that tight. They seem tight right off, right at the beginning here. Two trigger fingers. Now, I always seem to start with throwing uh, all my figures to be righties. And the gun looks... It kind of, like, the gun length doesn't look small, but the handle looks small. Which makes me wonder if in real life, if this is a real weapon, if it is considered a smaller uh, weapon. Now, the one thing I had always noticed is that the original gun actually does have a bipod. I don't believe this. Although it looks like it may, maybe that's supposed to be a bipod underneath, it's hard to say. But the original weapon, and I wish they would have done that. So, before you do the the original one, the repaint, the pre-paint, give them a bipod. Like, redo the gun and just give them a small bipod. Get cool attention to detail. You can take all the credit for it in the world. <laughs> like, you care. Anyway. So, there he is. Again, the rifle does look kind of small. Um, makes me wonder if I'm going to pick out a different weapon for him to use. I don't know why it seems so small. I think because the stock is small. I guess we have to kind of play around and see how it looks. So, But, more quickly, again, the paint looks really nice on him. It's not blemished. You could take the belt off here if you wanted. You'd have to take him apart. But the belt here is supposed to make it so it's like his jacket is hanging out underneath it. So it kind of distinguishes and changes it from the way uh, Spirits looks. Then they threw the paint app on the compass. Now the compass is just, the front face is just silver. But it looks like a different color because of the way that it uh, embroiders out. No paint apps up here. Yeah, you know, he's a very basic. There's not a lot of color to him, to be honest. Two different paint apps on the boots. Boots look really nice. So this is going to be a, obviously a new boot that they're going to be using uh, with some of the figures, I'm assuming. You know, he's got the uh, pockets on the back. Everything looks really, really nice. And very close to the vintage. You know, even the side side pots right here so 
And then even, I guess, you know, I get kind of like fumbling with some of the stuff at times. I do apologize. But he's even got the rolled up sleeve, just like the vintage one does. So I think this figure looks really nice. I'll be happy to see him in this compared to that. But this doesn't look bad. It doesn't look cartoonish or anything. So let's wrap it up. We'll take a look at it. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, so there you have it. That is the Rakondo Classified Tiger Force Target Exclusive G.I. Joe. I did everything out of order. Why? Because I don't care. Actually, I was just way off. I'm sorry, I kind of rambled on in this video. I hope I gave you guys some good information. I think he looks really good. There's my biggest issue, I think, right now, as I'm looking at him. Now, if anyone is watching the TV series 1932, I think it is. It's a, it's one of the prequels to Yellowstone. He looks like the main character that's in Australia, I think, at the time. And that's what I cannot stop seeing. He's wearing the same type of hat. Yeah, he's, he, he's got like the same facial features. He's, I don't know, like... If you've watched it, you know what I'm talking about. I'm shaking him all around. And I feel like Tommy Boy, ah, going all crazy. Um, this one messed up. <laughs> anyway, again, hey man, if I'm not having fun here, what the hell am I doing here, right? You know, we always say, if you're not having fun, why are you doing it? Anyway, I think he's a good looking figure, to be honest. I really do. Yes, I'm more interested to get this one where I said, as much as I love Outback, I just really like that Tiger Force. Because there's something about the big tiger that makes him, you know. This here, it looks like a good figure. Though I'm looking at it and I'm I'm just seeing like something that's from a 1930s movie. And maybe when we get this guy, we'll see the same thing. But I have a feeling just nostalgia is going to kick in for him. Uh, but again, he looks really good. I do think the face sculpt actually looks pretty good. I, we're gonna have a hard time comparing face sculpts once we get that, because we got that out back and it's just so good. But this one here, I mean, again, no issues with the paint. You know, the eyes are looking straight, they're not cross-eyed. Uh, the paint's not all over the place, like that O-ring dupe that we got. Uh, again, I think the gun looks kind of small, but I think it's, I really think this gun was more or less, was made after, something from that era uh, that they would use in the outback and stuff so it's not really a military style weapon i don't believe i could be completely wrong and you know tell me in the comments you guys know better than me i'm just rambling on so anyway figure good i'm gonna show you my target i have going to be plentiful just like all the other tiger force and python patrol so don't play, don't play, don't pay scalper prices. Don't go on eBay. Don't jack up the price of this. Hey, if you want to spend 50 bucks on this figure for some reason, hey, hit me up. I'll sell them to you for 50 bucks, and then I'll just go buy another one for 23 bucks. Anyway, let's remind you, now I got to go cancel all these pre-orders that I have of this figure because I don't want to get charged. I got a problem. Anyway, let me get out of here. You know the deal. Um... The social media is a punk with toys on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. That's it. Hey, you know what? While you're at it, you can check out my Mauler video. My 1985 Mauler smashing over some plates, some workout plates. He goes over the bridge layer bridge. I'm just rambling on anyway. Technically, this guy was on it, but they fall off. And I'm not going to try and make them stick in there okay anyway i'm out of here you know the deal uh last last call to action here it is you remember hit that subscribe button hit that like button always 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 hit that like button hit that subscribe button because again lots of gi joe stuff coming sky strikers coming soon that's the hazlab sky striker not the o-ring sky striker from 1985 i believe i don't think that one's coming because what well, was I already have it, and they got it for like Christmas, birthday, something like that. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here because I've run on too long. You know the deal. Take a second, do all that stuff that I asked. Here's a playlist, here's a video, and make sure you subscribe. I'm out of here. Have a wonderful night.